Guys, welcome back to the CPL. I've got the ball in hand after not batting in the first innings. We're obviously up to about round number seven of the 10 games headed into the final. We've got uh, a few new additions to the team or at least some inclusions to the side who haven't played the last few games. One of those being Shubman Gill, who I think provided us with quite a handy first inning score. He, along with the other opener, Evan Lewis, uh, got us off to a flyer, both with 50 plus scores. There's a chance of a catch. Oh. And we got in, ended up with about 183 on the board. So that is very defendable. We've started well. We've got that rate required up to around about 12 and over. That's going to be pushed towards the boundary, but it's just a single. And my first over here has been pretty good. So chances are with those better skilled players up the order, there might be less of an opportunity for us uh, to do that finishing roll from six. Uh, potentially we could move ourselves up to five, uh, but I think hopefully it, it it's still not a bad spot to be in. And if we do end up needing to bat, we should be able to provide the goods at any given point. That's a terrific delivery. See ya, Rovman Powell. Barbados lose their fifth, just in between the gap, hits the leg stump. It's five for 93. What a great wicket to get. And obviously what a great first over. That's very close. I think it's tracking down. No. Look, you got two reviews. You may as well use one. I'm pretty sure this was a wrong one, so that's why I think it's turning too much. Where does it hit him? How much does it turn? Yeah, probably too much. He's a fair way down there. Yeah, you can see wicket's missing. You could have easily given that out if you're the umpire. Already holder on the back foot. Comes down the wicket, stumped. That's two in three balls. Could have easily been a couple in a row if we'd managed to get that first one a little bit more right. Uh, but Holder just coming down and De Silva doing the rest of the work. It's six for 103. Is this guy going to field this? He's just standing there. I'll field it then. Oh, he has fielded it. Okay. <laughs> he's just standing there for a good five, six seconds. Oh, he's come down and bowled. Another wicket gone. That's a couple in the over again. This one just turning. He's got himself in all sorts there, and he's little bottom edge onto middle stump. It is seven for 102. I've got three wickets. Faruqi comes in. I've got three for three. Oh, can we get another one? Obviously, looks like we're going to go on to win this game as well. Barbados needing 80 off the final five overs. Make that 79 off the final five overs. But they've just got three wickets in hand. With that fielder being there, I'm hoping one of them just balloons straight to him. Oh, bold. Comes down. Gone. I've got four for four. In a T20. Just every time they've come down the wicket, they have not been able to pick up anything I'm doing. That one's a skitter. It's uh, 9 for 121. Obed McCoy comes to the crease. Can we get 5 in a T20 game? Certainly a chance. I'm going to try and field my own ball, but the camera was not giving me any favours there. And if he wants to do that again, let's see. We've gone with a sliding ball to dismiss a few people. That one is uh, managed to get away. But no run. 9 for 122. We'll give the ball to other people. That we're going to steal it back. 5 for 9 looks so much better than 5 for 10, doesn't it? Unfortunately, they're going to get at least one. And that's going to be a way for 4 to finish off my particular bowling innings. I end with 4 for 15, which is still pretty good. We're going to win it by 36 runs. And continue our patch of dominance. I'm going to actually win the player of the game for my 4 wicket haul. I don't think it was that impressive, but we got there. So the Patriots getting it done again, and they are continuing their run in, in terms of form at the start of the competition. Really good. And Australia also want me to be T20 captain for that India tour, up which is great news to see uh, as we will continue on here uh, for the CPL. We're five and one at the moment. Actually, we're five and two at the moment, should qualify for the finals. Uh, this does go from a four-team finals into a two-team finals. There are only two finals you need to play. And in terms of player of the game, uh, player of the series, I have the most sixes. And I also am up there for player of the series. I'm not up there for wickets or with the bat, but you never know. Anything's possible. As we'll smash into another game, we've got three more regular games left. Let's do it. All right, so we've come in here. We're betting first. We've got a score of 133 on the board. With three overs to go. My first ball's a mistimed full toss. I'll hit it for four. 
Obviously, our goal here, as we've said in this uh, series, has been to be a bit of a finisher. That's in the air a long way. I reckon the man will get underneath it, but he's going to fall over the ropes at six. I'm a bit lucky there. It's a very short boundary. But my goal is to try and, I guess, finish off these innings in, in powerful fashion. That's a wide. And really be the person who scores those, you know, 30 off 10 balls to get us up from a good score to a great score. That's off the back foot, I reckon, at six. Because as we said, this is a very, very tiny ground. So you can get 60 metres into the fence there over the offside. And again, six more. That one had a bit more power behind it, 108 metres. And off the front foot, miss time. Should just be the four. The one bounce. But we do like the short grounds. And already we've hit 26 from five. So these are just the little cameo finishing knocks that we like to provide our team with and, and really get this score up. We can get it up to 200, I reckon, if we go good enough. 32 from six I've got. Like every ball has just been absolutely pummeled. I'm trying to think, where does this last ball go? It's an edge. It's going to race away. It'll be at least a couple. Can they turn for a third or will we settle for just the two? It's four for 169 with two overs to go. Stubbs has 39 from 25. I've got 34 from seven. Uh, we already had the most sixes in the comp prior to this. Oh, that's going to be another one. It wasn't us, but it was Stubbs. I think he saw my hitting and said, I've got to get a move on too. And Marco Jansen. The economy rate prior to that delivery was pretty good. I can expect it to be absolutely smashed out of the park after this particular over. There's potentially four more. We'll settle for two. I'll face as many balls as I can, but I'm obviously not going to deliberately take the strike away from Stubbs if he's good enough to find the boundary rope. That's a tight single. The keeper has been the one to take it. Oh, it's a bit high. I reckon this could be out. Yeah, it is. Not enough on it. My 34 from 8 comes to a close. But that's exactly what we want to do. If that's the time we spend at the wicket, striking at 425, I hit six boundaries in eight balls. That's pretty good. It is that signaturely specialist role. I'm not in there to make 100 runs. I'm there to score that 30 or 40 odd quickly really elevate the score line. We ended up getting around about 190. So that's exactly what we were looking for. Oh, big swing and a miss. Shimron Hetmeyer who's going in a runner ball, which is not good enough. Both these guys going in just a runner ball. That's going to be six. And most of the time you will be hit to the boundary for six if they do try to go in the air because of the nature of this pitch uh, or this field. And it's just uh, being of such a small size. And I believe the Amazon Warriors might be the team who are sitting in first at the moment. Oh, that's almost a chance. Four for 81. Six again. That's two in a row to finish. Well, not finish the over. This has been an expensive over. There's been 15 or 16 from it. Back to 17 runs have come from it. Make it 18 with the single to end the over. They're not out of this. Like 75 off the last five is genuinely doable on this sort of a pitch. Gee, they got close in the air and only nine runs short. They needed, what, 75 off the final five. Ended up getting 66 off the final five, which is what we sort of thought it was definitely doable. And you can see there on the scorecard, four for 182. That last week of partnership between Jansen and Hetmeyer was actually worth 146 runs. Uh, but unfortunately, they might have been a little bit too slow going at the start of their innings. Couldn't pick it up the back end. We win by nine runs. Great result. Oh, big inside edge. First ball, Dre Russ. And then an edge and a wicket. Second ball. The perfect start to our round nine game here. Couple of dots, one of those being a wicket. Dre Russ out. Another one. Catch it. Oh. Gee, couldn't hold on to Silver. That's disappointing. But had two and two. So 153, not a big score line here. Hopefully this last over we can keep them to just a little bit less than that. Oh, Fielder, come on, you're better than that. Bold him. See ya. Persaud. Look at this turn. 
just gets underneath the ball with the sweep and it cannons in to the stumps. He's uh, out for a duck. It's Akil Hussain joining Latchman at the crease for the last two deliveries of it. Gets it away for nothing. And a big swing and a miss and a potential stumping to finish off the innings. So it is a stumping. De Silva does a nice job. Uh, 8 for 162. I think I ended up with three wickets there. I did. Uh, and we get them out for 162. 3 for 12. Pretty good figures. Will we need be needed with the bat at all? So it's 4 for 72. 91 runs on the board. That's a missed time. It's going to be 4 though. Short outfield. Or quick outfield. And also short big boundaries, I guess. Short big boundaries? Does that make sense? As in the... The boundaries that are big are short. It's not a lot to get a six, is what I'm saying. It's not a huge hit for a six runs. Jeez, I cannot hit the ball, can I? A little bit of extra pace on that delivery. Makes it easy to hit him over for six. And I do actually need to do a little bit here. We're five for 89, so we're not in the best winning position. It's a thick edge that's going to go away, probably for a boundary. Get a bit of luck that way. Four. And given we are five down, obviously, the pressure is on to score the runs. The required rate is just... Yep. Just about ten. Or just under ten now. Two more. Get two more. Nice hit. Using the pace, the spin, and a perfect hit for six. And what we've done here, come in, hit 23 from 9, and we've just made it 56 required from 41 deliveries. Should be able to get two more here. I think sometimes the fielders in the deeper are a bit unresponsive. Up and over that punch. One of my signature shots, 6 again. Oh, and again, just a beautiful swing of the bat. As it goes all the way. Off the back foot into the gap. A beautiful cut shot for four. Up and over the offside. And that should be another six. And we've got this down to a 50-run partnership, first of all. But it's almost a run of ball is the requirement. Whipped six. That'll be 50. We get it down to just 10 runs from 16. Six sixes, three fours. An incredible 20 balls at the crease. 54 from 20. And this is exactly what this finishing role has really allowed me to do. Is because I've spent so much time power hitting, now that I can like react back into an innings like this where it's, yes, a lot of power, but on the deliveries that haven't necessarily been there to be hit, I've managed to find a way to, uh, to like, hit a single or two. That's just going to go for one. Let's just have a look at this wagon wheel. It's pretty crazy. I've hit it mostly all around the park. Not bad. So the requirement is five from 11. Six for 158, the score line. I've <laughs> hit it straight back onto my stumps. I'm out for 58, but a good knock. It's just five runs needed. We do get the five runs. Great result. St. Kitts winning it by three wickets in the end. I've got to be your player of the game from that sort of a performance. And just incredible scenes. Three for 12, 58 from 25. Uh, getting us over the line by three wickets. Peran scored 79 for the Knight Riders there. Um, but we've still got one more game of this regulation season of the PSL. To, not the PSL, the CPL to go. Uh, Kenson Kitts. I think we've fully secured our finals position with that win. The captain with a high score of 86 not out. That is me. It's 4 for 139. What's our little goal here in the chase here? Uh, we just need seven runs. So this is our final game. Uh, I've got myself out first ball. Uh, which is terrific news. What a great way to end the regulation season of the CPL. They're pumped about it. Anyway, St. Kitts going to win it by five wickets. I was not needed. Uh, obviously, just the one ball I faced got myself out. I don't need to talk to this guy. 
Uh, as we went on to win that terrifically after bowling the Talwars out for 145. We can't obviously have a performance like that in the final though. So we got to get together. Now uh, we do finish in the top four. It means we do end up taking on the Trinbago Knight Riders uh, before a potential final matchup against Guyana or the Barbados Royals if we can get through that semi. Um, and we obviously had a really good season finishing top of the table with a win streak of four games in a row heading into that big uh, finals series. So surely we are more than capable of going on to win the CPL this time around. That's the challenge. Can we do it? Find out in the next video. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.